Well, welcome to the channel. We're going to make today simple, delicious soup, which is the cheddar and broccoli soup. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown and take the beautiful flavor out of the bacon. I just have like a, a touch of olive oil there. And then, like I said, 70 grams of uh, bacon. We're just gonna brown this a little bit and basically infuse the flavor. I mean, we're gonna cook it maybe for like about ah, three, four minutes, medium heat. Mm, it's already there, mm, smells so good. And again, this is no recommended for the Car association. <laughs> but if you want something delicious, this is it. But you see, it start getting happy there, a little crunchy. So now we're gonna add the onions. This is a large onion. I like the Spanish onion, the Dahlia, it's sweet. Just you wanna saute this thing and mix it a little bit. Let it get happy there. Now this is the time that you might want to add a little bit of salt. I add a very little because I add my bacon and the cheese as salt and all the stuff. So I add like a pinch, you know, maybe a quarter teaspoon. But like again, I said, this is to taste. You decide how much salt, pepper, then you want to add to your soup. Okay. I love this stuff. And this soup is even better the next day because it's, it will absorb all those flavors and all that if it lasts to the next day. This house, I have like three cloves of garlic. Ooh, now it's getting really happy. You want to extract the oils from that garlic. Now, with all this happiness here in just a few minutes, I'm going to add the butter, about eight tablespoons of butter. And you see the color on that one? It's a nice, fatty butter. <laughs> the happiness is happening. We're gonna cook the flour. That's the next thing that comes in here. I have a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And you wanna cook this flour. I'm gonna take that raw flavor for a minute or so. And this is gonna thicken. Not too high, remember about medium heat in there. One and a half large carrot. Kind of like to get this one mixed like that. Instead of adding all the liquids, I got four cups of uh, low sodium chicken stock. You can use veggie, chicken stock, or whatever, any other stock that you like. And I'm gonna crank a little bit up the, um, the heat in there. Everything is getting happy there now. <laughs> Let it get to a simmer. I'm adding another cup of, uh, of chicken broth. I took my time, you know, giving the time to sink in, you know. Very dramatic. Very dramatic, yeah, right. All right, so now comes the broccoli. I cut it, you know, semi-small. I like the chunks. There is uh, 750 grams here. So it's uh, almost a kilo or one and a half pounds, basically. A kilo of the green stuff? Yeah, a kilo of the green stuff. And we're gonna let him cook for, get him something because this is raw. We're gonna let it cook for maybe about 10, 15 minutes. So here we go. And again, you taste the, the liquid, see if you need something. Remember, the cheese is not there yet, so don't go crazy and then, you know, adding too much salt and then it doesn't taste good. So we're gonna let it simmer for about 15, 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're gonna add the cheese, the cream, and all that stuff. We're almost there. <laughs> mm. I thought you were gonna do something. Yeah. I'm just eating. <laughs> no. This is 
halfway. I got my my 10 minutes here, and I mix two cups of half and I mean um, heavy cream and one of regular milk. So one cup heavy cream, one cup. Milk. No, one and a half cup of heavy cream and one cup of milk. <laughs> now we're gonna let it sim to this. Okay. The broccoli is still cooking in there, so you have to make sure that you put that one when the broccoli still has structure. It's a soup, but you want to still feel the crunchiness or at least the, the, the substance of the broccoli. But some people might like it, you know, really like puree. That's fine. So, just gonna cover it now. Put it at a little medium high. And then cayenne pepper. I'm gonna add a, a quarter teaspoon. If I need more, then I add more. And you can have paprika, smoked paprika if you like to. It's up to you. Cooking is an adventure. At least to me. Just got lucky and my family likes what I cook. Otherwise it would be bad. And uh, the cheese is coming next. I'm mixing two of them. Mixing Velveeta, eight ounces, and cheddar, eight ounces. Sharp. Oh. Sharp cheddar, eight ounces. And again, salud. No promoting drinking, but I like it. Definitely a catch rate. All right, put on a t shirt. I don't promote drinking, but I like it. <laughs> We're getting there. How's the broccoli doing? It's too tender, it's too hard, and that's what I'm gonna test right now. Hmm, we're getting there. Still have a, an off. Hmm. There's not the cheese, and it's still good. So we're almost there now. Another thing is when you add in the cheese, turn the flames off. Because if you boil that one, it will separate, it will look terrible. So with the remaining heat in there, you're gonna melt the cheese. I'm gonna start adding the cheese. I'm gonna add it all the time because it lowers your temperature, so. Especially when you have enough cheese, like I said, we're putting almost a pound of cheese there. Because it's cheese and broccoli soup. All right, we put the Velveeta, and now we're gonna add the shredded cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna let it melt nice and easy. Melts faster because it's all nice and grated. And this is the point that if you want to add more cheese, I got another bag there just in case. Because this is depending how cheesy you want it. Yeah, it definitely needs a little bit more cheese. And because I know myself, I'm going to add the whole thing. It is cheesy, cheesy now. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks very creamy. So. And if you think that it needs more like salt, then you can add it to. So we'll give him another four minutes and then we'll serve the soup with a nice toasted bread which I think I have it here oh yeah that boy's in there mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. and it's more cayenne a little bit more heat another quarter teaspoon much of salt too. Stop playing with your food. <laughs> I 
Let's see. Oh my God. Oh, delicious. Again, I'm biased. But let's go and dig in. Remember to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. And thank you for watching. And broccoli soup. Cheddar, cheddar broccoli? Cheddar broccoli, yeah. Basically, that's what it is. It is um, cheese and uh, it's cheddar, obviously. So it's and cheddar, broccoli. It's cheddar broccoli soup. <laughs> well, maybe we have to agree to disagree. <laughs> Better right. than panera. I'm just I, got, I call him fuzzy. Uh, all I can tell you is going to be delicious. Oh, I heard. Then uh, we have some uh, friend of mine that live in uh, Italy and watch the video just in case if you watch it again. Thank you. But this channel belongs to my son. I'm just the star of the show. No, I'm just kidding. Salute my son. Chin chin. It's called, well, I don't know. Can we make a commercial out of that thing? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so. <laughs> they don't pay us enough. <laughs> exactly. It is good. That's all we can say. Oh, is that Monica? We got visitors. This is like, uh, what is that? Sesame Street. Hello! Is this the extra scene? All right, man. Man, we got new beers, Mark. We got three different ones, so you can, like, this is like Christmas. You can go there and pick whatever beer you want. We start with that one, it's good, but open anything you want in there.